This Saturday, we're returning on American Legends losses with even more festivities. We present a list of legendary actors that departed on this day in this tribute video. Legends that regrettably ended up dying today but in some manner contributed to their respective works. Fans and family, my condolences. Let him rest in peace. But not before we ask that you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up as a sign of love and affection. American fashion model Helen Marie Williams Jackson broke down racial barriers in the industry. When she was 17 years old, she began her career as a stylist at a New York studio owned by a photographer. She was seen there by well-known individuals like Sammy Davis Jr. and Lena Horne. Williams' modeling career took off when publications sought to feature her, including Jet and Ebony. She left the United States in 1960 due to racism she experienced as an African-American and found great success working with well-known designers like Christian Dior and Jean Dessay in France. Williams overcome some early setbacks upon her return to the United States in 1961 to go on to star in major Budweiser and Sears advertisements. She was also one of the first models signed to the Grace DeMarco Agency, which represents Ophelia DeVore. Williams was born in Burlington County, New Jersey on September 16, 1935. In 1970, she gave for modeling, although she continued to work as a stylist in the fashion industry. She also continued to like painting and drawing even after she stopped modeling. She had a brief marriage to John Clayton Anderson before she wed Norm Jackson in 1977. They remained partners till his passing in 2017. Williams resided in New Jersey's East Riverton. He passed away from Alzheimer's on July 26 at the age of 87 in a Morristown care facility. She received the Trailblazer Award from the Fashion and Arts Exchange Organization in 2004 during an event held at the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York. Her efforts to transcend racial boundaries in the fashion industry were honored with this prize. Inga Swenson, an American singer and actress, was well known for leaving her imprint on both stage and television. Swenson was born in Nebraska's Omaha. He was Geneva Pauline and Axel Carl Richard Swenson's third child. Her father passed away in an automobile accident when she was 15. In her early years, this was a difficult period. In 1950, she graduated from Omaha Central High School. She excelled in speech and music there, taking home national prizes and leading the Central High players. At Northwestern University, Swenson studied theater under renowned instructors like Alvina Cross. She portrayed Helen Keller's mother in Advising Consent and The Miracle Worker, two of her early motion picture roles. Trained as a lyric soprano, Swenson rose to fame on Broadway in roles in The First Gentleman and New Faces. She received a Tony Award nomination for her performances in Baker Street and One in Ten in the Shade. She was a lifelong student of the acting school and cherished her role as Lizzie Curry in 110 in the Shade. Swenson's most well-known television role is that of Gretchen Krause in the sitcom Benson. I Hear You the catchphrase of her character became a program hallmark. For her work, she received three Emmy nominations. Swenson also starred in the television series Bonanza and the film North and South. She was cast in Benson as a result of her significant performance in Soap as Ingrid Swenson prior to Benson. When Swenson quit her job in 1998, she concentrated on her family. She married singer and actor Lowell Harris in 1953. Mark and James, their two boys, were born. At the age of 26, James perished in a horrific motorcycle accident in 1987. Mark is currently employed in finance and has quit directing films. On July 23rd, she passed away in Los Angeles at the age of 90. Her significant achievements and noteworthy TV and theater roles are still remembered by many. Famous American actor James Barry Sicking was well known for his remarkable TV roles. He was born in Los Angeles to Arthur and Sue Sicking, and his mother was instrumental in founding the Unity by the Sea Church in Santa Monica. Sicking's early experiences prepared him for his productive career. After earning his degree from the University of California, Los Angeles in 1959, he enlisted in the American Army and saw action in the Korean War. 
He got inspiration for his plays during his stint in the army. Sicking started his acting career in 1955, but it was until the 1980s that he rose to fame as Lord Howard Hunter on the hit television series Hill Street Blues. For his role as Howard Hunter in 1984, he was nominated for an Emmy. Additionally, he became well known for his portrayals as Dr. David Hauser on Doogie Hauser, M.D., and Captain Stan Jonas on Brooklyn South, for which he was honored with a 1998 People's Choice Award. Star Trek III, Point Blank, The Competition, Outland, and The Search for Spock are a few of his most well-known films. Sicking appeared in numerous guest spots on television programs, including as The Fugitive, Perry Mason, Bonanza, and The Rock for Files. His role in the 1992 television film Doing Time on Maple Drive also made him well-known. Sicking wed culinary writer Florine Kaplan in 1962, and the two of them had two kids. He was a huge supporter of charitable causes, including the Susan G. Komen Foundation and those suffering from cystic fibrosis, and he raised a lot of money for them. He was committed to education as well. He read to third graders as a part of the Screen Actors Guild Book Pals program for 19 years. James Barry Sicking passed away on July 13, 2024, due to dementia-related issues. He was 90 years old. Fans and colleagues alike will hold his contributions to the entertainment industry and his humanitarian endeavors in high regard for a very long time. Joseph Washington, sometimes known as Jellybean Bryant, is a well-known person in the coaching and basketball communities. Bryant, who was born on October 19, 1954, made a lasting impression on the sport by evolving from a standout player to a well-respected coach. He started his NBA career with the Philadelphia 76 years, where he was teammates with Doug Collins and Julius Irving. Bryant displayed his skills on a big platform when he was a member of the 1977 NBA Finals team while he was a member of the 76 years. Bryant resumed his career with the San Diego Clippers and the Houston Rockets after leaving the 76 hours. Significant contributions were also made by him abroad where he played for several teams in France and Italy between 1982 and 1992. His remarkable career spanned more than just his playing days as he became a coach. Throughout his varied and global coaching career, Bryant worked with teams in the WNBA, Thailand, Japan, and the ABA. His influence was most noticeable while he was head coach of the Los Angeles Sparks, where he first worked from 2005 to 2007 before coming back for the rest of the 2011 campaign. Bryant's influence on the game was felt in his coaching positions in men's and women's leagues around the world. Perhaps Bryant's most enduring contribution, regardless of his achievements on the court or off, is his family. Following in his father's footsteps, his son Kobe Bryant became a legend in the NBA before losing away tragically in 2020. When 69-year-old Joseph Bryant passes away on July 15, 2024, a major chapter in basketball history comes to a close. Joseph Jellybean Bryant is honored today for his accomplishments to the game and his significant impact both on and off the court. We appreciate your presence as we celebrate his life and work. Nelon Clark, a Smyrna, Georgia native who was raised in Atlanta, Georgia, was first exposed to gospel music by her father, renowned gospel musician Rex Neelan. At an early age, she became a member of the Lefevers, now known as the Neelans, and sang alto with the ensemble for more than 40 years. Nellon Clark recorded solo albums, such as her father's child 1983, Praise Him Now 1985, Called by Love 1988, KNT 1990, and Steadfast Heart 1992, in addition to her work with the Nellons. She played Carol Palmer in television series like Resurrection and Homicide Hunter during her acting career. She has acted in movies such as His Love is Blind and The Old Rugged Cross. Nellon Clark had two kids, Amber and Autumn, who are both currently performers with the group, from her previous marriage to Jerry Thompson, the former lead vocalist of the Neelands. She wed Jason Clark, the Neelands' current lead singer, in 2001. On July 26, 2024, a plane catastrophe tragically claimed the lives of Kelly Neelon Clark, 
her daughter Amber Nealon Kistler, her husband Jason, their assistant, the pilot, and his wife. The plane was en route to the Gethers' homecoming voyage to Alaska. Today's episode addresses a concerning rumor that is circulated on Twitter today, July 27, 2024. A false and alarming rumor about Jason Statham has been making the rounds, causing widespread panic among fans and followers. Jason Statham, the renowned English actor and former competitive diver, has faced some health challenges and unfortunate events over the years. Known for his roles in high-octane action films such as The Transporter Crank and The Fast Furious series, Statham has always maintained a rigorous fitness regimen to stay in top shape for his physically demanding roles. Despite his dedication to fitness, he has not been immune to injuries. During the filming of The Expendables 3, Statham narrowly escaped serious injury when a stunt involving a truck went wrong, resulting in a close brush with death. The incident highlighted the inherent risks associated with his profession. In addition to the physical toll of his career, Statham has also dealt with some personal and professional setbacks. He has faced criticism and scrutiny from the media and fans alike, which has sometimes put a strain on his mental health. Moreover, the entertainment industry has not been immune to the global pandemic's effects, leading to delays and disruptions in film production schedules, affecting Statham's projects. Despite these challenges, Statham continues to persevere, demonstrating resilience and determination to overcome obstacles and continue his successful career in Hollywood.